after hit time and time again. It seems nothing can protect an historic covered bridge from oversized trucks in Cobb County. Now, the Concord Road covered bridge is one of 13 in the state, but it's by far the most accident prone. Yeah, it's actually been hit nearly a dozen times in just a matter of months. Well, Fox News Denise Dillon joins us now live from Cobb County. Yeah, and Denise, it was actually hit again this week. So what exactly is the problem? Well, that is a really good question. People who live around here have seen their share of crashes. Folks at the county just don't get it. There are plenty of signs warning people here on Concord Road about the bridge ahead. Drivers are given plenty of heads up. Still, they keep crashing into it. For us, it's, it's a big deal. Bob Roach lives right at the entrance of the Concord Road covered bridge. The historic bridge is 150 years old and still working most of the time. But there are accidents. Almost a year ago, Cobb County spent $800,000 in splost money and four months to restore it. Since then, trucks, U-Hauls, vans, and heavy machinery have collided with the bridge or the large metal barrier just before the entrance a total of 11 times, almost defying the odds. Well, we're averaging nearly one a month, which is kind of astounding to us given all the signs and everything that are out there. From Sky Fox 5, you can see the single lane bridge over Nickajack Creek. You can also see a van turning around, the driver discovering at the last minute he's too tall to make it through. There are plenty of signs, even flashing lights, to warn drivers, but the hits just keep coming. And for them to knock the bridge down means they don't see the, the, the height thing, so we don't understand how, we just don't get it. The county believes people are paying less attention to the signs and more attention to their GPS systems, which may warn them of a bridge on Concord Road, but not that it's only seven feet high. The county is hoping there will be a fix down the road. We work very closely with Waze already on our Cobb Commute app. They've been working on, they've got something in production, they tell us, that they could potentially roll out to warn people of uh, these low-hanging uh, overpasses. Bob Roach hopes that will make things a little less bumpy for drivers. Because nobody wants to crash into a bridge.